Hello everyone! Time for another tutorial. Uh, in this case, it's not really so much a tutorial as it is a kind of a look at a cool plugin I found for Blender. And uh, this plugin is called Easy Effects. You can find it on this website. Uh, to install it, simply just go ahead and click on download. And then once you download it, uh, go ahead and put it into your add-ons folder. If you're on the Mac, this is uh, one way you can do it. Uh, if you remember a tutorial I did before, uh, when you click on Blender on the Mac, you just see this. So right-click on Blender, uh, go to Show Package Contents, and then navigate to your Scripts folder and Add-ons, and drag and drop that Python script, Easy Effects Python script, into the Add-ons folder, and then restart Blender, and go to User Preferences under Add-ons. Uh, type type in the search field Easy to bring to bring up. Easy Effects and go ahead and, and enable it and then save the user settings. Okay, and now you have it uh, saved and you'll, you'll know pretty quickly if it's, if it's ready or not. Uh, so you can see here that um, I've got this kind of uh, test scene and what I'm going to do here is Easy Effects, what it does is it, it takes a lot of the drudgery out of doing the, the um, compositing after your, your scene is rendered to get uh, a cool looking scene that has a lot of you know effects that a normal camera would have. So the first thing it needs is a rendered image. So I'm going to go down to sampling and you can see I set it to 10 because it doesn't care how high quality it is, it just needs something rendered. All right, so we've set it to 10 and let's go ahead and under the display, I went ahead and selected full screen instead of the image editor, which is default because as you saw in the previous tutorial, Sometimes Blender, when it's set to image uh, editor, it can instant crash. So let's go ahead and render, All right? And then it renders. And then you'll see here, if you set it up correctly in the image editor, you'll see that you should have an easy effects tab. All right, so what you can do is, from here you can control a whole bunch of things that uh, you would normally have to go and manually do in the compositor. For example, if you click glow, okay? For whatever reason, when you click on it, it takes you back. So you have to go ahead and select UV Image Editor. But this is nice because we can see here the effect of this and you can see the compositor updating in real time. So uh, Glow, and for this case, the only thing that's glowing, it would be this box with the emission material. So I'll say emission only, okay? And then I'll add streaks and uh, you can add a vignette, which kind of adds kind of darkness around the edges here and the amount so we can change way down. Okay. And you can see this stuff updating in real time. So that's pretty nice. Uh, depth of field. Let's go ahead and hit depth of field. Uh, now for the depth of field, I haven't set that up yet. So let's go to properties, go to our camera. I have an empty in the scene and I'll choose that empty as the focal target. And then we can go ahead and change our depth of field F stop to be something like Okay, um, Okay. so you can see that the area up front of near the camera is blurred out, okay, just like a real camera would be. Uh, and then if you had a fast motion scene, for example, you could um, go ahead and turn on motion blur. And then another one that's very uh, common to use is mist. You'll see that mist is extremely uh, touchy. You don't need a lot of mist in order to uh, Get any kind of effect. I just turned down like 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 just to get a little bit of mist, just to give it a little bit of dimensionality and stuff. And you can keep on going. You've got cell shading and a host of other items that you can go ahead and get into. So uh, just go ahead and play around with it. It's kind of a lifesaver for me. I've really enjoyed using it. And uh, kudos to uh, whoever uh, built this. Rimdenise.net, okay? So I hope they keep making uh, more stuff for Blender. So that's Easy Effects, and I hope you get to use it up.